F lesson 17. Now that we've learned a little bit about what measurement is, we actually have to start practicing using our tools to help us measure different objects. So that's what we start doing here in lesson 17. So a big tool that we're going to use a lot in the classroom is a ruler. And so here is a picture of a ruler. It might not be exactly the same size of the one you have in your hand or the one you've used because this is a picture of a ruler. All right. But we know that on a ruler, we could have inches and centimeters. We can have both. So one thing to think about is when we're measuring, we have to be really careful about which side we're looking at. If it asks you to measure in inches, you need to make sure that you're using the inch side of our ruler. Or if it asks us to measure in centimeters, that we look at that centimeter side of our ruler. All right, because some rulers have both. Some might just have one or the other. So hopefully this week with your teacher or at home, if you've been watching and learning at home, you've taken some time to measure some objects using that tool, the ruler. So here's a picture of two objects that showed up in your book, all right? We have our centimeter object and our inch object. So we have this shell and they chose to measure that with centimeters. Now we know if we look back up here that centimeters are actually smaller. So I have one inch, if I line them up, I already have a little more than two centimeters when I line it up with an inch. So centimeters may be used for measuring smaller objects, whereas an inch, may be used to measure some things that are going to be a little bit bigger. So they chose to use a shell to measure with centimeters and then a stick to use to measure with inches. Now, they did draw those dotted lines right here. And I want to remind you that those dotted lines are there to remind you that you have to line everything up. So we made sure the end of the shell lines up with zero centimeters. All right, we got to start at the beginning, and then we can count and see how far it goes. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five centimeters. Again, they use those lines to draw and help you see that things have to be lined up. All right, so this would be five centimeters. I want to put that down here. Again, we can use our abbreviation CM to represent centimeters. But then we look at our stick over here, and here we're using inches. So we only have, again, it's all lined up at zero and at two. So we have two inches. But if we think about our measurements, we think about five centimeters, and we think about two inches. If we go back here and look at the top, about where those measurements are, then we can see that two inches and five centimeters are about the same length, right? They're really close to the same, all right? So as you're practicing measuring, remember, we always line it up with zero at the end of our ruler or whatever tool we're using to measure. And then we can look and see how far it goes, the length on our ruler. And hopefully you see that these rulers look very similar to another tool we've used this year in math, and that would be our number line, all right? So these look very similar because they go in order, 0, 1, 2, 3, et cetera. They are very similar to number lines we've used in math class throughout the year.